Hey everyone, a very happy new year to you all. Thank you all so much for coming on. It's New Year's Day. And um, yes, so let, let's just begin by landing into the space. Uh, I've had a very hectic morning. I forgot I had to go and collect my son from Matlock and I've just literally just walked in the door as the church bell was um, was ringing 12 noon. So I'm just gonna land in the space. And this is for me more than anyone else, just as much as anyone else, just to land with three long deep breaths in through the nose and blowing out slowly over the bottom lip. just to calm the nervous system, consciously dropping from head into the heart, fully feeling the support of the earth beneath your feet, of the, your sitting bones on the chair, and coming out of what happened this morning and coming out of what you're going to do later today, and uh, so we can be fully present. I've got Kobe wanting to get up on the chair, and, uh, photo bomb the session. Kobe here with me. So uh, it's good to be with you all again and it's good to be in the host seat as well. So I did agree with uh, Sass and Helen that I would do this session. So I really welcome anyone who wants to speak to come on the call. Uh, you may want to share what's going on in your world or you may just want to use the power of this amazing group, this amazing community to speak your intention for 2024. Certainly for me, I felt a huge shift in the energy at the winter solstice. Um, that is the official kind of moving out of the rabbit year of 2023 into the dragon energy, which will fully come in by Saturday the 10th of February, which is the year of the dragon lunar Chinese New Year. That's the official Chinese New Year but the energy shifted and I don't know if you can feel it, but uh, for me very much, the energy is moving very fast. And these, these years, just to uh, set the scene, and I did explain this on the love um, uh, discussion the other day, you may have heard that. These, these three years, 2022 was the year of the tiger, 2023 is the rabbit and 2024 is the dragon. And the tiger and the dragon are very yang, powerful energy. And they're a bit like, hold on a sec, my son's just, <laughs> thanks sweetie, got me a cup of tea. Um, so it's a bit like a tornado. So, so the, the tiger and the dragon are like the two walls of a tornado or a hurricane. And the rabbit is like the, still, the stillness at the eye of the storm, it's yin. Uh, so it's, it's, the rabbit is yin wood, but it was a water rabbit. So it's like a dew drop on a blade of grass type energy. So we've come out of almost like the doldrums. It was a very good year for sort of healing and hibernation, but not a lot happened. It's difficult to get energy on the move in a, in a rabbit year. It's much more about stillness and, and, and healing really, uh, and romance. And it's just a beautiful year for kind of yin things. But now we are coming into this, other, we're coming out of the other side of the tornado and so the energy is moving very fast and certainly in, in my world <laughs> that is absolutely the case with the insanity that I'm having to deal with in um, stepping into the false matrix what with Crestbrook Dale and the absolute totalitarian tyranny of um, the audacity of the authorities to believe that it's acceptable for them to drive huge trucks onto our land, bolt cutter through the chain, um, essentially commit eco vandalism of the highest degree, completely, I mean, it is indefensible what they have done at Crestbrook Dale. And um, of course we've reported it to the police. I reported it to the police, but they didn't want to know. Um, and then John reported it to the police. We got a crime number but then they said, oh no, it's nothing to do with us. They're a government agency. You need to complain to them. We're not, it's not criminal. And meanwhile, I've got three plainclothes police officers coming to my fricking door, uh, trying to um, trick me into uh, a voluntary interview, saying that I've committed election fraud. 
I mean, it's just like the insanity of what is going on. And I, I, I personally um, know that this is kind of standing against the system is kind of what I was born to do, to, to use my voice, to use my whatever influence, whatever power that I have to speak out and to shine a light on the audacity of this system. Um, and it is pure evil. And so for that reason, I am going to just, uh, before we, I come to you, so please do put your hand up if you want to come on and speak. It would be great to see lots of hands up so that I don't have to spend lots of time talking on this call. But I did just want to read what Jerry Marzinski has found. He's the psychologist he was interviewed on Delling Poll. Uh, he, he's, um, he did a lot of work with schizoph uh, schizophrenia and he discovered that um, the 23rd Psalm is the most effective um, weapon's the wrong word, but the effective thing to use with Ritiko. So it's an old favourite. So I'm going to read the 23rd Psalm and then I'm going to come to you. Uh, and so please do put your hand up. Um, so let's just read this. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I'm actually reading this from a, but I found this in a Bible, it says 25p on the back, and it's, it was in the Bible. I think I got it from my mum. It's really interesting when you look at it. You, it looks like Crestbrook Dale, actually. It's like a sort of a dale in the peaks or, or like Yorkshire or somewhere like that. It's quite sweet. That That's uh, a little forward echo of um, what I've manifested in my life. So, okay. I can't see any hands up. So who would like to speak? Kareem, would you like to come on? I'm going to have to pick on people if you're not going to put your hands up. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, can hear you. I'm going to put oh, it on okay. speaker for you. Just, so sorry, it's because of the Bluetooth thing. No. First of all, many blessings. Happy New Year. I suddenly feel really emotional because, Rachel, I really, really have such deep gratitude for you, for standing up, for shining a light, for showing such courage. Oh, thank you. Yeah, feeling really emotional, really looking forward to your book to arrive, which I finally ordered. Um, and yes, you, you said, well, what were our intentions? So yesterday I did a long yoga practice with my teacher. And um, for me, it's I'm going to I really wish to strengthen my body, really, really make myself more resilient and, and strengthen my lungs, which have been weak probably with the grief of the world, but yeah, it has to be done. And uh, and also to to explore deeper the healing uh, with my voice and sounding and singing and sharing. And so that's my primary uh, goals for the year, alongside being a constant gardener rather than a random gardener, because <laughs> I still got to wait for my tulip bulbs to go in. However, yeah, um, yeah I uh, fully intend to keep singing, laughing, dancing, hugging, and all of that. And yeah. I'm not going to enter into all that fear crap because it's just a load of shit. Excuse yeah, <laughs> it's great. It's great that you've got all those resources and um, remedies, and that that is a huge thing. As this energy gets intense, it's so important. And yeah, yoga. Um, my son said to me, "Mom, start doing Kundalini yoga again because I love Kundalini yoga." It's so, I do. <laughs> yeah um definitely so thank you for inspiring me and reminding mm. me of that thank you thank you for all you do 
Yes, thank bye you. Bye-bye, lovelies. <laughs> Wonderful to see you. And uh, we've got hands up now, so we'll come to Elaine and then James and then Annie and then anyone else who wants to come on. Elaine, hi. Oh, hi, Elaine. Can you put your video on or and unmute? I think have I unmuted now? Yes, yes. Hi. Hi, Elaine. Uh, am I unmuted now? Yeah. Hello. Hello, Rachel. Well, it's amazing um, that what Karine has just said, I, I feel exactly the same. I'm uh, so grateful to you for all you do and for sharing and uh, being prepared to be so, so open and um yeah yeah so and it's all said with love and moving forward um i've been with my family over christmas um some of them came in from america and um the the my granddaughters brought their boyfriends and we we went down into london and um uh it's been not quite the christmas we were we were hoping for very very busy and but we've my husband and myself have tried to keep nice and peaceful and um amongst all the the craziness that was going on in london um mm -hmm. they you know they it's just so busy it was just so so busy um we and of course we went to borough market because that was on their bucket list and um, I don't know if you've ever been to Borough Market, but you're you're just sort of squeezed through, and it almost felt like I was being squeezed through um, the birth channel of all <laughs> these people and thrown out at the other end. Um, but um, yeah, uh, it, yeah, I, it, it, it's definitely not not the life that that. that um, that that we live here in in Wales, in, yeah. in peaceful Wales. Um, but it, it's very difficult here. It, it's it's very difficult to try and wake people up. Um, they just they just don't don't hear it. Um, they don't question it. Um, but we we just keep hoping and praying that you know, this will all get exposed. And it's people like you who are bringing everything out into the open. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure this year, I feel this year, it, it will, it will just open people up. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. And um, my, yeah, that's my hope for this year. That's my hope for this year. Yeah. Um, so Thank Thanks, you. Elaine. Thank you for thank you for that. Thanks, Elaine. Thanks for coming on. Um, yeah, I, I agree. I think there's going to be a mass awakening of consciousness, and it's almost like a, just awakening from this deep sleep, all of the people. And um it will only take it just getting to a critical mass, and then boom, everyone will get it. I, I really feel that. So thank you for coming on. Yeah. Um yeah. I'm gonna to come to James next. Um, I'm, I might actually, I think I might just change my, I'm going to change my Wi-Fi because I, I think I'm on the wrong one, which is weaker. I'm going to do that. I might, if I freeze, that's why. Hold on. Right, I should be back now. So, James, let's come to you. I hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, James, can can you come on and unmute? I, I think I'm asking you to unmute. Yeah. Yes, there you go. I think I've done Hi. it now. <laughs> yes. Good. Well it look, came up a bit different from how it used to. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that, it's a perfect follow-on. I put my hand up um, because uh, not many people were doing so. So I thought, oh, I better say something. <laughs> <laughs> then everybody's got their hand up. And um, anyway, it, it, it's the ideal moment because 
you're, you're talking about hoping for more exposures and more awakening um, next year. Uh, and as you probably know, and I know most people in this group or who follow this group um, are into the spiritual side as well. And um, of course, I, I follow what lots of the spirit guides say, you know, I'm linked up with a few of them, a couple of them are friends of mine. Yeah. And um, and this this is particularly 2024 is going to be a year of truth. And it's quite interesting because even some of the fringe uh, medium stroke psychics who I wouldn't 100% necessarily put in like in a book, you know, I wouldn't quote them because psychic can be different from channeled spirit messages but yeah. even even those ones are, are saying truth you know that's what they're getting as well so i think that's that's wonderful there's a lot going to come out especially the uh in the first six months i think jonathan said who speaks for elaine thorpe some people may have heard of her if okay. not they sh if not they should have a have a look um i'd usually share on bits of it you know elaine doesn't mind on youtube i usually take little clips sometimes the whole video and put it on my channel as well so so if you can't remember her name I'll, I'll try and remember to put it in the chat but if you can't remember her name you'll find it on mine under my name on youtube and i've also got one on bit shoot where i'll share more controversial um <laughs> messages from or or uh, talks by other people like Andrew Bridgerton uh, or Brid Bridgerton, <laughs> however you pronounce yeah, that. Bridgerton. Yeah, the, the the one, the one, the one good MP. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the, it's going to be a year of a lot of exposures. Jonathan and many of the other spirit guides have said. So there's a lot more coming out. So and there's a lot more going to be cleared away. A lot of um, politicians will be replaced or gone from power or resign because um you know when all these exposures come out i don't see what else they can do and basically virtually all of them should resign in my opinion mm -hmm. but um from a spiritual point of view it's it's excellent the more they've pushed as white feather who speaks through robert goodwin said the more they push the more reaction so that they've they've actually put themselves into the spot where everybody's now waking up or loads more people than ever before are waking up to the um, and pushing back and realizing and learning so much more and and the great news from my point of view as far as you know um people like myself are concerned is it's waking them up spiritually as well <laughs> lots of people have discovered the truth um about the corruption like um richard vobes uh, and now he's on the spiritual path as well you know he speaks yeah. uh, uh, exactly the same as i would speak <laughs> to yeah. say that we're all spirit beings living a temporary life on earth so yeah. so it's so it's excellent it's had this great knock-on effect so it's it's all positive from here on and lots of them say the world's going to transform the new earth as it were um but especially between 2024 and 2026 uh, so mm. it isn't that long really it's only another couple of years and probably a lot of it in 2025 anyway so yeah. so one of them said by 2026 you know so and they yeah. had a bit of flux in there, in there because nothing's 100 percent set in stone so all the bad stuff i mean i know there's a lot of people that people call victims and people suffering as as the usual thing with the the baddies or whatever you want to call them uh, inflicting or causing wars and mad bad mayhem and crazy things going on and in all sorts but um we have to also remember that they nobody has ever died they don't really die they mm -hmm. go home to spirit it isn't a nice way to go <laughs> i'm sure if you know you know if there aren't many passing in his sleep would probably be quite nice but <laughs> but, but otherwise you know anything that involves suffering or hardship or emotional or physical pain you know, it's not very nice, but um, you know, everybody everybody ultimately comes out of their body and moves on. And sometimes yeah. they come out of their body quicker. You know, they, they 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 don't actually suffer as much as it appears because they've partially detached from their body, like yeah. lots of people with NDEs. You know, they don't even feel the impacts of a car crash. Say they're zoomed, okay. they're, they're zipped out of their body straight away. 
So anyway, I just thought I'd um, and you know share a few things that there, there are positive times ahead, and we can all look forward to to that. And I can lower my hand now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, James. Thanks oh, for thank, coming on. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Rachel, and everybody. Yeah, and of God course, you yeah, 2024, of course, general election and American yeah, elections. Yeah. So a, oh, a yeah. big opportunity for the to upset the apple cart. Oh yeah, or or to expose them more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks, James. Thanks. thanks for coming on. I'm going to come to Annie next. Purple sofa, Annie. <laughs> Hi, um, Rachel. I've been following what's been happening up at Crestbrook Dale, and uh, you must continue to shine the light on all this evil. And um, I know that ultimately, you know, good will prevail. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the awakening process. I know that there are pockets of places where people aren't awake and there's a feeling that uh, some people just don't see it. Now, down in Kent, where I live, um, we have this yellow board. We, it's called the Yellow Boards Tour. And um, every Saturday between 12 and 2, whatever the weather, we're out there. Um, there's um, more and more of us. And we cover the area of East Kent, um, which is quite a big area. And we go to all the main towns and we plant ourselves by the side of the road or in the central reservation or on a roundabout or wherever we're visible, or near to traffic lights where, where traffic is stopping. And we hand out copies of the light newspaper. Um, I'm assuming people are aware. Oh, I've still got my copy to hand. But I'm assuming that you do get the light newspaper or you're familiar with it. Yeah. But it's certainly it's certainly online if you can't get hold of a physical copy. And it's really, really changed over the year. Um it started um eighteen months ago we would get lots of abuse, um and kind of shaking heads and hand gestures and if we were lucky, we'd get rid of 200 copies of the light in two hours. And we thought that was quite good and quite encouraging. Um, but today, it is, it's off the scale. It's, um, we're getting rid of 2,000 copies of the light. Um, and people are driving up and winding down the window, sticking their hand out and getting it. We have people that drive up. Um, park somewhere and come and join us and say, give me a board. Um, we have people in tears walking up to us and saying, I can't believe that there's, that, there's, that you're here because I don't know anybody. My family think I'm mad. And, um, you know, it's it's been the most encouraging thing. And every week it is more and more encouraging. We get lots and lots of toots and beeps. Um, the police have... Um, being called because of nuisance because of all the beeping mm -hmm. and um last time we were out um one of the police pulled up at uh near a woman and said you're you're not allowed to do this you're not allowed to do this and she just leaned into the car and just said oh stop it just stop it you know on your way and the police <laughs> drove off and they do take copies of the light and they do take it back to the station. We get some of the biggest suits from ambulances, even ambulances on call. They whiz past us and they're doing all this and sounding the horn. And um, it is so, so encouraging. What does it say um, on your boards, by the way? Just what, what's the sort oh, of messages on your boards? Um, the boards, boards change. They don't preach. They just say um uh things things like you know about global control and about 5g um they're very very limited but it's just to sow seeds and have people thinking wow what is that um i'll i'll um i'll try and send you a i'll send you a link to our facebook group and you can okay. see some of the stuff there um so so that's encouraging and um I was just going to say something else and I've forgotten what it was. But Sorry, um but it's um You're oh yeah, it, it varies. Drivers. Oh yes, the ambulance people, they're fine. They're they're on board with it. And um 
is just getting more and more um it's getting bigger and bigger and we love it people love doing this this is the sort of highlight of the week um to stand by a roadside near the traffic light <laughs> and compared compared with um uh 18 months ago when there was a um some traffic lights in Whitstable and people would see me with my board and they'd think oh how scary and they'd park they'd stop 20 feet back rather than at the traffic light so they wouldn't have to be parallel with a mad woman with a board um but it's changed it's changed and it's continuing to change and um we must all be inspired by it because it's you know Kent isn't anything special um it's the same it's the same all over mm. so so please be encouraged and um if you can go and join your find your yellow boards people or rebels on roundabouts or whatever that whatever yeah. you've got there's a very active group in Bracknell I know that they are they're bigger than we are down in Kent yeah. I think um, it started in Stockport didn't it rebels on roundabouts yeah 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 and it's all over oh, and nice. um and people love it they um they drive up and they toot their horns and the kids are all waving and um it's it's really encouraging cool so thanks for coming on annie yeah thanks for sharing okay that. thank you um, okay i'm going to come next to uh eli and then to david and then yeah and then and then anyone else who puts their hand up this is half past 12 so we've got plenty of time for more people to come on and speak so hi eli Hi, hi Rachel. Hi everybody. Um, really great to see so many lovely people this morning um, on the first day of the new year. Um, I've got a couple of things to say. I'm not quite sure which order to do it in, but um, I'll do the I'll do the American thing first. Yeah. So um, there's a couple of groups that I'm in in America um, who feed a lot of information about what's going on on the political scene there. And um, in America, <clears throat> all the darkness is fully, fully out. It's, yeah. it, it's fully out. And um, that's not happening over here. And there is um, incredible things happening politically in America, um, in the oversight committees, um, in the government. They're, they're calling various nefarious people um, and actually just exposing it openly. So, the, and obviously the, the kind of the, the challenge in America, well, it's the main place, it's the one place in the world that, that the kind of the darkness wants to take over. It's the last bastion of freedom. We're obviously completely occupied over here. So America is really important, but there's huge amounts of really, really positive things going on in America. It's absolutely incredible. And it's not just amongst the kind of 80 million kind of MAGA, you know, f fighting for patronism and, and nationalism. Uh, it's actually within the, the mainstream media and within politics. So I just wanted to say that it's really positive what's happening in America. Um, there's obviously, you know, negative things going on as well, but it's balancing up really nicely. So I just wanted to say that. Um, and the second thing was, Rachel, is I watched your doorstep challenge, as I like to call it, <laughs> um, the other day when you had the police turn up and um, I was... I watched it all and I must say I was super impressed um, because uh, I've had people at my door. I've had policemen in my house. I've had bailiffs and things. And, um, you know, their tactic is to get you to go into their frequency to lower your frequency so that they're on the level playing field. They want you to be <clears throat> in, uh, in a state of fear and fight and flight. Yeah. And and the absolute trick is to stay centered and to not let that happen. And I will say, Rachel, that what you did there, I've posted it to a few groups, uh, common law groups, just as an example <laughs> of, mm -hmm. of, of actually how to do it, because a lot of people don't get it. Um, and what you did was really, really powerful in that you just stayed centered. You were obviously, I don't know whether you were doing any breathing exercises at the time, but you were so centered and so focused and actually I could almost hear your brain whirring to kind of interpret 
the tricks that they were playing and the words yeah. that they were using to try and trap you. And every single time you kind of knocked it back in their court. And I just wanted to say it was, I think everybody should watch that video because it re you really were an example of somebody who stood their ground, was very sovereign, um, you know, very empowered in what you, what you believed. And, and at the end of the day, it does work. And they just walked away. And I just thought that was a beautiful moment. Um, <laughs> it, it's not pleasant, is it? But actually, um, you know, a lot of people get into a confrontation and that's exactly what they want. And, and in, in that moment, you didn't get into their vibration. You kept your own frequency and, and, and you transcended what they were trying to do. So I just wanted to say that really. Oh, thanks, Eli. I mean, the, th the thing about that, just to mention, um, because I because I was in the system, because I consented to the system, I'm very aware that I, I couldn't actually use common law. So I was having to use their system against them. And I could I could feel my nervous system activation. I could feel it in my body. I could feel, and I was shaking. You can probably tell from the camera. I could really feel that nervous system activation kicking in, which is why I said, I need to go and speak to my advisor. I needed to take a break to go away and breathe and speak to, I won't say who's uh, advising me. I don't want to implicate her, but she was the one who, because I could feel my frontal cortex closing down. I could actually literally feel this whole thing because I've, I've done trauma training. I know how it works. And so I said to her, tell me what to say. And I wrote it down. So that second half, when I go back to the door, I've got a composure and I've got a script, you know, and, and that made all the difference because when your frontal cortex is closed down with a nervous system activation like that, you can't think straight. It's amazing how you, you literally, you lose your, your faculty. Uh, it's very interesting to notice it happening. So yeah, it's very sneaky. They're very sneaky. Um, and it was, yeah, it did, it did, really shake me up that day um so if anyone wants to watch that video it's on my youtube channel uh it's called crown persecution service <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but the other interesting thing about it is just to mention he he said something about socap and i didn't know what he was talking about but that actually means serious organized crime so i must be on their radar under uh, it would appear to me from that the way you said so cap serious organized crime and that is it's like i mean i i thought uh, lynn julie and me we were just uh, three concerned mums from the south from the east midlands you know <laughs> we're now with domestic terrorists or something you know Oops. so it's like oh my god so i've got i've got obviously i'm under surveillance it must be i don't know well, uh, just a quick story then. First thing is, is I did say to people, do do keep on, you know, involved in Rachel's story. It's really important that we're all there, you know, publicly with your story and sharing your story because people will get attacked. Many years ago, I don't know if you remember the magazine Positive News. Do you remember Positive News? No. Um, so it's a lady called Shauna out of Shropshire who did this magazine called Positive News. And um, I... Uh, I, I got to know her and I did some of her website work and just to let you know and people a lot of people in the spiritual community have um, their discernment of evil is not as it would be let's put it that way so they can't see that, that people are capable of doing such nefarious things but I got involved in the website project and we actually found out that the guy who was doing her website was an agent and I got on the servers and it was it was literally government servers that her website was sat on oh, wow. and I and, yeah and I got her to take the, the the website off her servers and then about six months after we finished our project I went onto her site and she had this community discussion boards software and I rang her up and I said oh hi Sean I'm you know it was a bit odd that you didn't ask me to talk about this I said how many people have you got signed up to this this community discussion board. Um, and she said, oh, we've got about 168 people signed up. And I said, who are the people who are doing this? And she said, oh, it was a guy who rang me up and said they do it for nothing. Um, and I said, oh, who, what's the name of them? Can I do a bit of research on them? 
And I found out that they were actually a software company that actually provided software to the Pentagon. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, and they'd rang her up and they'd actually got in there. So, um, you know, clearly there are agents out there who are going to, and we do need to be aware of this. It, it's not a fear thing. It's actually an empowerment thing. Yeah. Um, but because if everything's out in the light and exposed and seen to be for what it is, um, then, you know, there's nothing can really touch us. Um, you know, uh, it's like when Michael Bonacia's daughter, you know, that she got um, taken away by social services recently. Oh, I didn't but, know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Hannah Badir's do- uh, son got taken away as well. Um, these things are happening. Um, but because Michael and Hannah have made them so public, um, th- th- there's tabs on it. There's a whole load of p- public people who are involved in that story. Yeah. So and if anything happens, then, you know, it, there is accountability so you know um you know I, we're very much with you rachel and there's a load of people i've said on a couple of quite big groups look you know do do follow rachel's story because it's important to know, to let her know that there's a lot of people supporting yeah. her but also for us to just keep, keep an eye on what's actually happening yeah. um so you know but uh, you three are dangerous rachel <laughs> <laughs> So there we go. That's my little piece. And, um, you know, I wish everybody all the best for 24. It's going to be a fantastic year. It's yeah. going to be absolutely amazing. Yeah, oh. really good. Thanks, Eli. Thanks yeah. for coming on. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just remember Richard Ashworth was saying on the Year of the Dragon Day that we went that uh, it was, I forget which country it was, but he said that when the mothers decide enough is enough, it's when the mums, the mothers, right, enough is enough. It's when the mums rise up. That's when everyone has to worry. Um, okay, I'm going to come to David next. David, love and freedom. Yay! Hey, oh, yes. David. Hello. Hi, everybody. Oh, yes. You're right on message there, aren't you? Yes, indeed. Yes. Well, it's, it's interesting because you were talking about your experience. And uh, happy new year to you, uh, public enemy number one, should I call you? <laughs> Seems that way. Um, yeah, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? It's a crazy world we're in. Um, I've... I've been, um, I mean, since 2020, um, I've been arrested five times over lockdown, breaking lockdown restriction. Oh, right. I've uh, been in custody four times your, overnight. Your fundamental common law rights for freedom. Well, I tried it. I tried it. And, you know, the thing is, the police either don't know what I'm talking about because they're not being trained to learn common law, or they're just ignoring it anyway because they think they can, and I think this guy's a bit clever. Don't like him much. Um, but I kept thinking, why, what is the reason for me being arrested? And the one thing which is, um, I've had different placards over the years. This is my current one, Love and Freedom. But I've had um, uh, Love Conquers Fear, Love and Unity, Love and Truth, and then Love and Freedom. Now, the one thing which was common throughout virtually all of my arrests, well, all of them really, is that I had a placard saying love on it. And I thought, well, are these, I, I, I call them the beings. I don't call them human beings. I call them the beings. Are these police being sent here to arrest me because of I'm breaking lockdown rules, as they said at the time? Or is it because I'm carrying a placard that's got love on it? Mm-hmm. And I think this is all energetic. This is about getting rid of people off the streets who are uh, hugging each other, um, singing, um, smiling, making humour jokes. And the beings hate it. They yeah. hate being laughed at. They hate us smiling. They hate us gathering. And they hate us hugging each other. So I think this is all energetic. I think they've been targeting yourself, Rachel, and others like yourself, because you're uh, promoting a higher vibration, you're reaching out to others, you're bringing people together, and that's what terrifies them. So we just got to keep doing what we're doing, um, because it shows you're on the right track. And I have to say, many, many people out there respect what you're doing, and are with you all the way. Um, My girlfriend and I, we moved down to Somerset um, early, uh, early this last year now, um from london and we formed a wonderful stand in a park group um echoing what annie was saying um in uh, yeoville and we also joined up with the sherborne stand in the park group to do yellow boards um yellow boarding in sherborne and we've um it's been amazing i mean it's been it's been challenging at times you know we, we get your verbal abuse as we always do but we've had three years of verbal abuse it's like yeah okay what more can you give us Mm-hmm. Um, so if it's good, I'm going to share a link to my videos. I do love and freedom videos of our outreach um, for my love and freedom channel. So I'll share those in the chat. Um, All right, cool. Follow our channel. 
I'll follow the news basically in Sherborne and Yeovil. So a big shout out to Yeovil and Sherborne all the way. <laughs> cool. Yeah, thank you, David. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Um, Pleasure. I'm going to come to the other David next, uh, David Baines. Um, uh, someone's saying, are we saying Wichiko or beings? So it's like Wichiko is like this lower dimensional evil energy that works through, it's like parasitic and it works through people who are unconscious and highly traumatized. And, and so this is the thing, they're, they're under a spell basically, I would say. But that's another whole subject. Let's come to David. Hi, David. Hi. Hiya, how are you doing? Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, lovely. <laughs> 10 minutes into our Zoom, I, uh, I've put this, all this on the text. Ten minutes into our Zoom, my next door neighbour came to change the, my front tyre on the car <laughs> because it was flat. So I had to get out and quickly do that job and then now I've just come back. I've, I've left three amounts of text on the, on the uh, chat uh, notepad. Um, it's related to electricity, the um, alternating and direct current. I've actually, uh, from when you read the text, you'll, you'll, you'll note that uh, in order to protect your health and, and uh, enhance it, we do need things like this. Now that this might look a bit weird, but it's your shield okay. of, of, of gratu gratuity. When you, if you buy the, I, I bought these, and this particular one has all got golden golden uh, dots on it. Okay. And uh, what I've done. The, the circle uh, applies to the alternating current because it's a, it represents a wave. Okay. Now, the, 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 the square represents DC, direct current. Okay. So when you've got... Oh, wrong one. When you've got DC, direct current, and, and the wave, you've got the, the, the two together and what I'm doing now is putting them on on the on the body on the heart so you can see it yes under your under your, under your clothes yeah <laughs> and uh, it's it's your shield against whatever comes whatever comes in your own personal space okay and that will that will protect you I've been a, an instrument design electrical engineer since, uh, oh, I don't know when, <laughs> since about 1930, something like that. Wow. Uh, and uh, that's what I've, I've formulated within the last 48 hours, actually. Bringing, bringing, becoming uh, a, a whole energy. Yeah positive and negative and and accepting both both conditions 100 percent and this is what it will do yes thank you now if i if i show you about 30 years ago i went down to devon to train as a, a rainbow tai chi practitioner i spent nine years going from Middlesbrough, Teesside, uh, down to Devon, yes. uh, and from that, that was that part of my artwork. I don't know whether you can see it. Hold it up a bit higher, David, so we can see it. Okay, so like a yeah, an energy. We, we call we call that colour science work. Okay. So it's affirmations plus dots. Join the dots and, and just allow the allow your hand just to create whatever it wants to create. Oh, and okay. you, you finish up with meditating on your on your heart, your organs, and and. Uh, okay. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. 
Now, relating to the colour blue is the neon lights. All lights that the, within the last 10 years have all been changed to neon lights. Yeah. Which, which emit a blue light. Yeah. A blue light has to have the rainbow connected to it. When you when you when you re remember the Edison lights with 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 a, a filament between the the, yeah. the the two at the end on the bulb, that filament implies AC and it's directly current di direct directly connected to the earth. Okay. Whereas DC on the neon light is not connected to the earth. Okay. That's why the lights that that we have are detrimental to our, our, our health. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it is noticeable that, especially those halogen lights on cars that they have now. They're so yeah, bright. exactly, exactly. And, and when you connect a, a neon bulb to a, a USB, you've only got positive and negative on that connection. Yeah. You haven't got earth. Okay. Equally the same as a computer. All computers and all software is positive and negative. Okay. They, don't, they don't have any earth. Okay. When I worked offshore, I used to design high security systems for offshore platforms, including Piper Alpha, which blew up in 1998. Yeah. And all those platforms are all uh, are all hanging like hanging on a on a, a washing line they're all hanging on dc okay and the and and to inject any ac you've got to go through what's called barriers to prevent any spark at the end at the end result Okay, David, that's get, all getting technical. I'm, con I'm, I'm yeah. conscious that we've got um, so, so that... three people waiting to, to speak, and um, it's getting quite detailed and technical. So, um, yeah. What's that you're holding up there? That's the birth of a cell. Birth of a, a cell. Okay. When the spermatozoa connects to the... To the, to the um, to, to the egg. Oh right, you're saying it's There's a, a spark. Of light. Okay. Spark is DC. Okay, interesting. Yeah, and the rest of the egg, as you see it, is the rainbow. Yeah. Now it it it, it needs the blue to create the rainbow rainbow as a whole. Yeah. But the blue does not have to be overpowering. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, David. Listen, I'm. I don't, I don't want to be rude, but I'm going to. Yeah, I, I, I fully appreciate. Uh, let's move on because we've. Um, yeah. We've got nine minutes left, but thank you for coming on and happy new year. Yeah, you too, to all the group as well. Yeah, thank you. Lots of love. Okay, so Roger, we'll come to Roger, Sass, and Nikota, and if we can, if you can do three minutes maximum, each, please. So Roger. Can you unmute? Yeah. I want to wish everybody in the group a happy new year. Thanks. And uh, I, I can't say especially you because I, I love all of you. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. Thanks, Roger. So really, that's all I have to say. Nothing oh. else. Do you want to mention that you're going to be standing for a certain position? Well, yes, um, I'm going to be standing for a mayor, a, a regional mayor in the North Yorkshire County uh, Council and also um, MP. And uh, there's a long way to, to go on that. But uh, we've just got to be positive. Yeah, absolutely. So this is going to be a, an amazing year for us going into these, these political labyrinths. 
and shining our light <laughs> into the darkness. So, um, yeah, good, good to have you on, Roger. I can't, even though we can't quite see you, we're sort of seeing more of your ceiling. Sorry. Yeah. Is that everything you wanted to say, Roger? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. <coughs> cool. Thanks for coming on and Happy New Year to you. And I'm going to come next to Sass and then Nikota, and that will probably take us up to, to one o'clock. Way! Hello, everybody. Happy New Earth. <laughs> you see the bright new sunshine coming through. I don't know if everybody had it today, but the most beautiful blue sky. And it was like, don't worry, the light has returned and it's coming back in its full force. So, um, and Rachel, you've been showing that great demonstration of how to deal with uh, the unwanted wantables on your doors. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just feel um, it's a bit unfair because years ago I was um, spreading the word about the lies and all the illusion sort of many many years ago um bit at the same time really as David Icke obviously he was doing it live and I was when it came online I was doing it I never got any any sort of uh, rhetoric or any feedback it wasn't it, it was only really really gone into the demonization of people standing up for the truth in the last three years unfortunately you've come in um at the worst time because they really go hell for leather um but it's interesting obviously to see what's unfolding it's because the light and the new earth is here that it's terrifying um, that all so many people are going to be awakening. So many more people are going to be awakening. Our DNA is going to be activated, more strands of DNA. And apparently there's going to be some shift where all of a sudden the light's going to shoot through us. We're going to be like the X-Men or the X-Women with all the light shining through our lives and everything. And we're just going to blast any last remnants of the darkness, which I don't mean darkness as in the yin, as in the, the forces that are against yeah. the uh, the natural order of things. Yes. Um, so that is happening. And um, so what I was going to say is when we're setting intentions, it's great to hold a quartz crystal in your hand because this is a piezoelectronic and it sends out like 10 times the amount of energy you put into it. So you can program these crystals. You can just put it up to your third eye and just set your intentions. And as you're holding it up, it will send out the information to the cosmic field which will then enable it to even be even stronger, the input, the imprint. So get up, get all get hold of, I would recommend for this new earth, this new year, is to get hold of a quartz crystal and program it. Because if we're all doing that, it's all going to happen a lot quicker. I was going to say, so as soon as the blue skies have now got all the chemtrails coming out, I don't know if anybody's noticed. Yeah, I've, I've just looked out the window and I can see a huge chemtrail across our blue sky. Unbelievable, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, so as I'm saying, so as soon as there's any any brightness in our lives, they want to dull it down. So we just have to keep shining our lights as, as, as strongly as possible. I was going to say the LED, I've, I've decided that stands for Light Enabling Diablo, because I think it's having a really serious effect on people's brains. Right. It's this. Um, and so... We want to try and get back to our old lighting systems or even just to light ourselves up so we can, um, sh you know, it'd be great, wouldn't it, Shirley, you something you could just command in your brain <coughs> to turn on lights from the inside of you and just light the path of head so we can yes. get rid of all these awful lights. I'm reading your book, Rachel. It's fantastic. I'm really loving it. I'm already halfway through. It's very, very easy to read as well and great suggestions. I'm going to get my journal and go back over it and do all the journaling. So I highly recommend everybody, um, you know, get hold of Rachel's book, Liberation, because uh, and then pass it on. So it's uh, pass your parcel, pass the parcel of light and uh, encouragement for everybody. So I wish everyone a fantastic New Earth energies ahead and sending you all love. And we'll be back very soon, a couple <laughs> of weeks, either myself or Helen or or Rachel, indeed. I think it's your turn next, isn't it, Sass? Is it? Uh, probably. I don't know. But anyway, I'm very willing and able, hopefully. Um, <laughs> Pop on, couldn't get on earlier because there was a few problems with my computer, but I'm all right now. So lots of love. Let Nikki, um, Nikota, um, share what she wants to share. And I just wanted to pop on and say hi, everybody. Love to see your shining faces. Keep shining that light bright and dispelling the evil and darkness which has descended upon us, but will soon be gone. <laughs> Thanks, Sass, and Happy New Year to you. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Lots of love. Keep up the good work, Rach. Thanks. And I'm, I'm just going to give a quick plug to my book. So this is Liberation. And um, it's actually got two covers. 
black and white one. It, you can read it from both ends. It's uh, printed to exact sacred geometry, 1 to 1.618. So it's, uh, it's uh, very specifically a kind of medicine tool. So yes, if you want to get that, then um, it's, uh, oh, I think it's source.tv forward slash liberation is where you can order it. That's my little plug. And I'm going to come to Nikota next to finish off the call. Hi, Nikota. Hi, can you hear me? Hi. 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 Um, Happy New Year to everybody. Um, I only really wanted to come and say to everyone, in absolute gratitude to everyone that's spoken, um, but also that we're all like connecting from um, our energy fields as well. I'm in total agreement with you um, in every, I can say, everyone in a sense is becoming much much more aware and there is more that in a sense like a little bud um is opening up all over the planet so there's going to be much 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 more but at the same time this is also in preparation to really get to know yourself okay um and really do what you really need to to do to clear out any density that's within your physical vessel um, everybody here is to work um, in an aspect, how can I say, collectively, but individually. But what's going to unfold over the next 24 months is going to be abs absolutely amazing. It is. And as long as we literally are strong and courageous and centred, we're going to move so many mountains. Wow. Really. So in gratitude to all of you. Cool. Thanks, Nikota. That's lovely to end on that positive message. Yes, I, I, I have that sense too. It's going to be absolutely incredible. So I can hear the bell chiming one o'clock and I'm going to end to do a little, I'm going to turn the, turn the set up round here and I'm going to finish. This is just impromptu. I haven't set this up. Hold on. This is um this is my Christmas gift to MJ. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? It's a it's a Pi Stay Gong and Ray Ray Savage is the gong man and uh he uh he helped me to, to get this and it's really amazing. So I'm going to play us out with a little gong wash and I have got my original sound on so hopefully you'll be able to to hear it fully. So, I don't know if you saw Kobe running out of the room when I did that. So anyway, Happy New Year everyone, lots of love. And I'm going to come to the whole uh, gallery view, actually, just so we get that on the recording for everyone to wave. Happy New Year and let's set amazing intentions for a 2024 filled with love and light and harmonic resonance and joy and laughter. Remembering that laughter is slaughter to the demonic energies. So sending you lots of love and let's keep positive and uh, thank you all for your support as well. Okay. Bye for now.